Well, I just had something big and round pop out of the ground. Boy, that's quarter size. Uh, is that a token or so? Oh, no way. Yeah, my wife Nicole and I are back out again this morning. Nice sunny day today. I think it's going to warm up nice. Uh, give it another whirl, see what we can find today. Oh, by the way, her channel is Michigan Digging. She hasn't got a lot of videos and stuff yet, but she's getting started. And I just had my first signal. Yeah, there's my first target. Just a spoon bowl. All right, let's keep going, see if we can find something good today. Well, I have been over and over this spot with the legend. And today I'm out with Nicole and she's using the legend and I have the Equinox 600 out. And I just popped a coin. And it's a barber. I can't believe it. And we haven't been out here 20 minutes. That is cool. Let me clean it up. I'll take a look at it. Well, now I feel bad because Nicole was just saying on the way out she wanted to find a barber dime. And here I go in the first 10 minutes and find a damn barber dime. But she'll get hers. She spends enough time out here, she'll start finding them. But it's a 1903. Let me see if it has a mint mark. No, no mint mark. All right, nice find. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm using a different machine today. I've been over this a lot with Legend, but I haven't been over it with the Equinox and well, maybe just once or twice. All right, let's keep going. It's definitely a day for silverware. This is a big old serving spoon bowl. All right. Let's see if we can find something else here. Working my way into the jungle area here. Lots of downed trees and stuff through here. But lots of signals too. All right, Nicole just made a really cool find shaped like a key it says phone wabash 5100 and it says shaw with a number here on the back side it's shaw livery company chicago illinois the key to let me read it the key to efficient livery service. It's a little advertising piece shaped like a key. That is cool. I like that. I just love relics like this. That is a cool find. All right. Good job. <laughs> well, I'm not even sure what this is. It looks like it came off a little piece of jewelry. It's like a white, I don't know if that's baked, no, it comes off with my thumbnail. It's metal on this side. I don't know if that's Bakelite or something. I don't know. Tiny little thing. I'm not even sure that's the signal I was chasing. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. Well, I've been poking through this hole for five minutes trying to find my signal. Pulling nails out of here and everything else. And it finally popped out. I think I got the first coin of the day. 
Let me take a look at it, see what I got. Well, it's a wheaty. And I got a date. It's a 1920. It's about time I pulled a coin out of here. I've been looking all day. All right. Let's see if we can find something older. I need silk. Barber Diamond do me just right about now. Okay. Nicole has got a good signal right here. I just swung over it. It kind of sounds like a coin. Let's see what she gets out of here. So we've both been digging a little bit of junk for a while. Nothing exciting, but I just uh, found the back cover to a pocket watch. Now you probably can't see it, but there's a design on it. Looks like some kind of gold gilting on the inside of it. All right, that means we've moved into an area that hasn't been hit as hard. Cause we're finding some targets. Yeah, out again this morning. It's pretty chilly out here. It's supposed to warm up today. Uh, I just had my first target. Nothing too great, but it's first target. Yeah, started popping pieces of milk glass out right away. And I found a whole bunch of pieces, the whole jar, but it's broken. But what I was afraid of, my target was the uh, top to it. And it says mentholatum on the top of it. All right, let's see if we can find some good stuff today. I need another coin. Here's my next target, a spoon, but it's kind of peculiar. Somebody twisted this on purpose. It's got a complete turn in it. That's, that's weird. Silver plated. All right, let's keep going. All right, I just had my first cool find. Screaming signal. Thought I had a ball jar lid, but I saw a roundness pop out of the hole. What do we got here? Oh, it's gonna be a token. And I think, yep, savings bank. I found these before. I've got three or four of these now. I'll see if it's the same one. I'll get back to you after I clean it. All right. It is definitely another bank token, but it's different than the other ones I found. A lot of writing on the back I can't read right now. Usually it has to do with you turn this in and they'll open an account for you, either savings or checking, whatnot. This one is Western Union Grand Rapids Savings Bank on Ionia Street. It gives an address. But definitely out of Grand Rapids because we're so close to Grand Rapids. That's where most of the stuff's coming from. That is a great find. That's, like I said, maybe my fourth or fifth different bank token. All right. Good start. Let's see what else we can find. Well, I got a little excited there for a minute. I saw something shiny in the bottom of the hole. It's definitely a spoon bowl. And I, at first, I'm thinking, ooh, that's a sterling. But I'm not so sure. Looking at the edges. This one is probably plated, but a really good plate job. I'll look at it closer when I get home. Had me going for a minute. 
Well, I just rechecked the hole that that spoon bowl came out of and I saw more shiny. Got me going again. But this one has a handle on it and it does say played on it. So, not this time. But boy, good plate jobs on both of those. Came out of the ground shiny. Yeah, always recheck your holes. I just checked that hole again. Found the handle to the first spoon bowl. And it does say plate on it, as I suspected. All right, three targets out of the same hole there. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, this is just getting crazy now. Same hole, checked it again. Another handle. I don't know, maybe the bowl for this one's in there too. I don't know, I guess I'll check it again. All right, I checked it again. There's the spoon that goes with the handle I just found, the bowl. There's got to be an end to the silverware in this hole. That's three spoons out of this hole now. One whole one and two broken ones. It's got to be the last signal. Spending way too much time on this one hole. All right, here's my next target. A little shaker top. It says, open cap as far as it will go. It says around the edge of it. A little shaker cap off something. Looks old. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, there's my next target. Another old plated spoon. Well, let me look. This one might have some writing on it, monogram or something on it. No, no monogram. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there's my next target. Another spoon. Oh. Some fancy on the back. It's plated, though. All right, let's move on. Oh, it's definitely a day for pl plated spoons. Here's another one. Pretty fancy, but let's keep going. Well, I got a signal here that's kind of grabbed my attention. Really faint, but it's ringing up high. So... That could be a coin, maybe. I'm going to have to dig that one. It's got my attention. That was so faint because it was way down there. But it ends up being an aluminum cap. Even has part of the bottle, the glass in it. All right, let's keep moving. Well, my next target's pretty strange. The copper, it's got this weird pattern. It's like two pieces. I don't know if that's like off of a some type of sash buckle or what the heck that would be. No writing on it. Smooth on the other side. That is definitely a mystery piece. My best guess would be maybe part of a decorative sash buckle or something. Huh. All right, let's keep going. Well, I just had a real high tone. Looks like I found myself a sash buckle. It's flexible too, so I'm guessing it's probably aluminum. Not sure. I'm going to brush it off a little bit. But it's pretty pretty scrungy at this point. Well, this buckle's getting a little more interesting. Started brushing on a little bit, and it's got a pattern on it. And at first I was thinking, ooh, silver. But I'm thinking it's silver plated. It's kind of soft, and I can see corrosion. Oh, in fact, it's going to break. A lot of gunk stuck to it. Yeah, it's not silver, but 
It might clean up nice anyway. I don't know. I'll have to be careful with it. Start. You can see the beginnings of a pattern going around it. Cool find. All right, let's move on. A little persistence has paid off again. I just saw something round pop out of the ground. And it looks like it's, it could be another token. I'll have to clean it up and get back to you. Well, I'm on a roll today. Grand Rapids Savings Bank. You can't really read much of the rest of it yet. I'm going to have to clean it up better. But I could make out good for 50 cents when you open an account. I'm, I'm liking that. Two bank tokens in one morning. That's cool. Wow. Am I on a roll? I just had a really faint signal, and I thought, yeah, that's kind of a high squeak, but it's real faint. Look what I just popped out of the ground. It's still got the loop on the top. I don't think it's silver. It might have been silver plated at one time. But that don't even matter. That is cool. Look at the detail on it. Wow. That right there might be my find of the day. I like that. It's a big one too. That is way too cool. All right. I am on a roll. Let's see if I can keep it going. Yeah, my next target's a crazy looking little insulator of some type. I've never seen one look quite like that. It's threaded here on the bottom. Looks like it has a collar that screws up on it. Oh, some kind of little insulator. Interesting though. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my next target. Another little twist-in plug. I think this is a little too small to be off a water bottle. <clears throat> it's not like the water bottle plugs I found out here. But interesting anyway. Whatever it's for. All right, let's move on. Well, we've got a pretty nice day today. It's supposed to get up into the 50s, actually. Uh, so I had to get out, do a little digging, and I just got a pretty decent signal. I just got out here. Well, the signal is jumping around a little bit, but it's got a high squeak to it. Feels kind of small to me. So I'm going to dig it, see what we got. And just like that, I got a coin. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an Indian. Yes. I can't believe it. Once again, I walk out here, and within 10 minutes, I'm popping probably my best shot of the day. Cool. Let me clean this up. I'll get back to you. Well, I got a date off it. It's a 1902. I am stunned. I just got out here again. And boom. All right. I hope that's a sign of how it's going to go today. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, 
there's my next target. Tiny little spoon. Looks like a little sugar spoon or something. Silver plate. Alright. Let's keep going. See what else we can find. I got another signal here right next to it. I gotta check. Well, I just got a really high tone, small right here. Look what popped out of the ground. I'm thinking it might be a little religious medallion. I think I see a figure on the front. Let me clean this up and see what we got. Well, that's exactly what this is. It's a little, I'm assuming, Catholic religious medallion. It almost looks like it has a big M on this side with some other stuff that I can't make out. And there's a figure standing on this side. I don't know, I'll have to look at it closer through my scope when I get home. But it's definitely a little religious medallion. And I believe it's aluminum just by the corrosion factor. Well, for a second, I saw something round. I thought I had a coin. But it's something just as cool. There's a shank on it. It's a button. All right. Let me clean this up a little bit. Looks like a one-piece kind of a domed button that's crunched. I'll get back to you. All right, I wiped it down a little bit. As you can see, it's kind of beat up. The edges are curled up under. It's got a pretty heavy shank on it. I can't really tell if it has writing on the inside or not yet. I'll have to wait till I get home. Now, as far as age, I know it's at least late 1800s, early 1900s, because that's pretty much the date of everything I'm finding out here. But I don't know. It could be older. I have no idea. Not an expert on buttons. Almost looks like it had three little marks on the front. I don't know. I'll have to look at it closer later, but another cool find. I like that. There's my next signal. Looks like maybe a aluminum handle off a table knife or something. All right, let's keep going here. Yeah, there's my next target. Another silver plated spoon. Let's keep looking, see what else we can find. Well, I'm looking at a signal here that is, sounds small and it's ringing up 52, 51, 53, 50. That could be silver, or it could be aluminum. But I'm going to have to find out. Let's dig this one up. Well, fooled again. That was a very deep ball jar lid. That was way down there. All right, let's keep going. Well, my next target is really tiny, about the size of my thumbnail. Little tiny suspension buckle, something or other, maybe off like a garter or something. But it's a tiny one. It's a relic anyway. All right, let's keep going. Well, I just had something big and round pop out of the ground. Boy, that's quarter size. 
Uh, is that a token or is that? <gasps> no way. This is a coin. I'm not sure what type, but that is a coin. Let me clean this. Oh man, I don't recognize it right offhand. Let me clean it up and see what I got here. All right. To me, this is a huge find. It's Canadian. It's a large scent, which I found a Canadian large scent in here before from the 1800s. I don't know if you can read it. It does say one cent, and I was able to make out the date of 1900. Wow, I am floored. That's better than finding an Indian head. Just because it's different, you know. That is so cool. Wow. That is definitely my find of the day. Well, I recognized my next target right away. You can see it has a pattern on it. I found two of these in the past, and my sister identified them as picture hangers. One, it would hook right onto, I think, your molding on the wall, and then you would hang your picture from it. But this is the third one I found. This one's got a little different pattern on it. Looks like it had some gold gilting on it. Cool item. Know what it is now, too, which is kind of nice. <laughs> 